Hi there, this is my homemade algae scrubber just with a 24 watt warm white CFL does a pretty good job for about 20 bucks it cost me to make it I already had the light fitting and I've got a Cicce Synchra 1.0 running it which is about 900 litres an hour uh, this is about two weeks growth so I use this little blade off my magnet cleaner and I just scrape it off big wads making sure I leave a good seed of it on the board look at that huge it's a monster I've got a bit of plastic to cover the spray bar I've made to stop algae growing into it and blocking it. Here's the, the crop. Heaps there. So it's basically just a tray I bought from a hardware store, a bit of chopping board, it's propped up, a bulkhead so it drains into back into my sump. Get a few different types of algae growing in here. There's this red, sort of seaweed type looking stuff. but mainly green hair algae and a lot of pods um, bulkhead drains down here back into my baffles onto a bit of filter pad just to stop help reduce the splashing noise and into my marine pure balls there's about 80 of them in there so it gets dispersed back through them and back into the sump Anyway, it's a cheap DIY algae scrubber, pretty easy to make. I did put a, a valve on it, but only because I had it kicking around in the garage, uh, but you don't really need it. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this will take about two weeks and it will be full up again, ready to harvest. Here's the the harvest. See it's pretty good. Pretty good turf algae. Pretty good for the money it cost anyway compared to the commercial turf scrubbers which cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars and it just does a little bit in helping reduce my nitrates and phosphates which is a, a pretty high in my tank because it's a predator tank with moray and 
trigger fish and a large tang and uh, that with uh, this helps keep my nitrates reasonable you know around 10 to 20 and I've got pretty big fish and a 30 inch moray in there anyway here it is see you later